what you're currently seeing here is um, my Lorex security system. It's um, it's a 2K IP security camera system with eight channel NVR and four HD outdoor three megapixel cameras. Um, cameras one through four are L N B three one six three B. They're three megapixel HD IP security cameras. Now the cameras five through seven that you see on the screen are four megapixel HD IP cameras and the model number for those are LNB 4173-C so I, um, I hope that helps the, the actual system itself um, the model is uh, LN10802-84 the NVR itself is an LNR1182 Alexa, turn on television Okay Right here, Alexa, looks pretty slick. turn on security cameras. Omar is the baby of the Mitrovich family okay. on the app. Alexa, turn on aspect ratio. Okay. The purpose of this video is just to give uh, people an idea of how the Lorex system, this particular system, looks at night. Um, so it will give you an idea of whether or not this is a system that would work for you in, in the situations that you have. Um, if you notice in the uh, lower right hand corner of the screens the number of the cameras right now camera number one is displayed camera one through four are the three megapixel cameras and camera um, five through seven are the four megapixel cameras As you can see here, um, you're not really able to see the license plate of the car. Um, here I'm trying to show you the license plate on camera number seven. Most of these cameras are located up on top of a 45 foot TV tower. Um, they're probably located about 30 feet up the tower, but that will just give you an example of the zooming capacity of, of the cameras. One thing that I would say is if you get this system, you'll definitely want to go into the menu system and play around with the different settings. Uh, the different settings will allow you to be able to narrow in exactly how things will look. 
things that are close up to the camera will be adjusted differently than say an outdoor camera where you've got um, the situation with snow outside or the cameras may be far away from the things that you're looking at. This just gives you an idea of the capability of zooming in and reading certain items. Um, as you'll notice at the bottom there you've got 3D denoise. I've noticed that with that setting when you zoom in you you get a lot less um, of the pixelization of the noise that you see. That's something to keep aware of. Something that you'll want to use. Um, now with my cameras, my 3 megapixel cameras 1 through 4 I'm actually able to set that 3D denoise but I've noticed on my my four megapixel cameras, um, camera five through seven, the denoise seems to be set at fifty percent. And if you change that setting and you leave the menu system, then all of a sudden um, it goes back to fifty set fifty percent. And that's with the three D denoise enabled, and then change the setting it just seems to always flip back to 50 percent um, I'm not quite sure why that is but uh, I've noticed that that is an issue that I've run into with those particular cameras Again, here I'm just trying to give you an idea of um, when you change the settings, the saturation, brightness, contrast, and hue, how that can affect your ability to read things when you zoom in. And even if you don't zoom in, it gives you a good idea of um, the clarity of it. There doesn't seem to be as much clarity at night with the IR settings, the infrared. Um, but again, this will just give you a good idea of you know what's going on. If you need something that's super sharp or has a lot of quality, these cameras probably aren't what you're looking for. But if you're just looking for a simple system so that you can kind of keep an idea of what's going on, then the Lorik systems work real well. I have a camera in the basement mainly so that I can see if I have water that's intruding into my basement. I can kind of keep an eye without having to travel to the back of the house and look down the stairs to see if I got water on the basement floor. As you can see, my basement's kind of under construction, but okay again here is just an outside view winter time you're gonna want different settings than maybe settings that you have set up with your cameras through the summer um, sometimes during the daytime the snow can be so bright that um, you may need to change the settings especially the the BLC mode the BLC mode will keep your camera from flickering. But again, um, having that white, that that balance, green grass or white snow, can make things uh, look different. So you may have to change them with the seasons. Here again is a, a view of camera number seven. And as you can see, I'm trying to adjust the 3D denoise. Um, but when I go back into the menu, and you see it resets to 50 again. I attempted this a few times to see exactly what's going on here and um, realized that for some reason, it just resets itself to 50. Maybe this is something that uh, Lorex will address in address in the future with a, a firmware update to the cameras 
I guess that'll remain to be seen. But um, yeah, I can't stress enough um, how useful the 3D denoise is in a situation like this. You can, but unfortunately, um, that's not accessible. But you can see that uh, changing the contrast will give you a different effect. So um, I hope this uh, this video has kind of helped you a little bit on whether or not you are going to make a decision to buy a LORIC system or whether you already have a LORIC system and you just have a few questions about maybe some of the settings. Um, but maybe this will be useful for you. If you found this video helpful at all, I hope you'll take the time to look at some of the other videos that I've made on my LORIC system. Um, they might be helpful in other areas. Um, I'll provide the links to those below this video in the description area. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comments area. Thanks for watching.